Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The one amigo is back in this bitch. Today, Tommy, you are going to be giving your five video games you'll never get rid of. This is a video idea by Frederick Stackin' Money oh, Davis. Oh, Frederick Stackin' Money Davis. He stacks on stacks on stacks and racks on racks on racks on there, Davis. That's right. Uh, uh, a friend of ours that we have on Facebook. I like Frederick Davis. He's a good guy. Great guy. A uh, really cool guy. And he came up with the concept of this. He wants us to do the top ten, but... Since we're going to be all together, we decided we're going to do five each. Yeah. And what we guys want you guys to do is tag everybody you guys want to to do this challenge. Because, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, these these could be sentimental games or games that you just like playing. Yeah, we, um, we want you to to do a video on your on your five best. or It don't have to be five, but your if, favorite games yeah. that you don't want to get rid of. That's right, so if you have five or if you have ten, do this video. We're not going to tag anybody individually because I don't want to leave people out, yeah. guys. Uh, cause some so people we're tagging like, everybody. Yeah, because some people are like, oh, you guys left us out or whatever, and we don't want to do that. So if you guys watch this video and you guys enjoy the video and you guys want to do this, make sure you guys do it, guys. Because uh, it will mean a lot to us, uh, and we would love to hear your guys' Uh, yeah. list because uh, and make sure you guys tag us in the video so we guys can see you guys you guys get us on Facebook or whatever yeah. and for shits and giggles you want to see the five shittiest let us know yeah yeah we'll, yeah yeah we'll do the five shittiest games we got if you guys want to do that yeah but Tommy you want to go ahead and go first with yours yeah I'll go ahead and get started first at number five is PlayStation 2's greatest hits NBA Street I love this fucking game I got it when I was in fucking middle school, okay? So this game is old as fucking shit, okay? It's old as like, it's old as fucking shit, but I got the insert, as you see right there, the fucking Afro Thunder right there. I don't know who the fuck he was, but I, I like the game. You know, there's the manual. Manual's in good shape. You know, this game is old, old as a motherfucker, but as you can see, look at those goddamn scratches, how long I played that bitch. Look at them scratches. Can you see it? Look at all those fucking scratches on this bitch. And you know what? It still plays on my fucking $20 PS2, okay? I love this fucking game. Uh, and I like sports games in general. Like, and, and I still have all my sports games for PlayStation 2. I haven't got rid of... I got rid of a few ones. Of course, the shitty ones. But, uh, like, like fucking NFL Street, that game sucks. But, uh, but NBA Street is where it's at. I love this game. I played it non-stop. You could, you could pick a team and, and you could create your uh, player and you could play with Michael Jordan. You know, you could play with all the NBA legends non-stop. This is probably my favorite street. This is probably my favorite NBA street. Yeah, NBA street 2 is good too, but this was the one I played the most because when, when I was in middle school, I played the shit out of this game. And if you guys want to pick it up on eBay, it goes for about 7 bucks. So if you it's have, worth seven dollars, believe me. Uh, I actually, I picked it up uh, actually myself. So yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I remember playing this with Tommy when I was a kid as well. Yeah, so it's a great fucking game. I highly recommend you go pick it up. NBA Street. Coming in at number four is, of course, another PlayStation Two game, Tekken Four. You all know I did a, I picked this up before. So, but. The reason why I picked Tekken 4 is because when we were in school, we we would all have Tekken tournaments at our house with with everybody, with my friend, with our friends and stuff. And we would have Tekken tournaments. I love Tekken, and we would always have some good fun with it. And and you love to talk shit. My favorite on here is martial law. Fucking Bruce Lee, motherfucker. I'm good with martial law. He's my fucking favorite. And Tekken 4 is probably my favorite Tekken. In my eyes, Tekken 4 is my favorite. They have all the other Tekkens, you know, Tekken 5 and all those that they made for PS3. Yeah, they're good and all, but the best one to me was Tekken 4. And and I really enjoyed this game. You can pick that up for about 7 bucks on eBay yeah. as well. Yeah, you can pick it up for 7 bucks. And the cool thing is the manuals here, as you can see. There's the manual, Tekken 4 right there, bingo. And and I know this is in good shape because what up 
what up games takes care of his shit. As you can see, in really good shape. That's where I got it from, and I'm glad I picked it up. It was my childhood. That's why I got Tekken 4, and that, and I played this game nonstop. Coming in at number three. It's a wrestling game. You know, I chose a wrestling game, so. WWF No Mercy for the Nintendo 64 fucking uh, Mom's ma House on it. It says Mama House. Yeah, Mama House on it. You know why? Because I got this at a fucking flea market. For how much? A dollar. A dollar. One dollar for a fucking WWF No Mercy. You kidding me? I'm jacking that motherfucker. One dollar. I don't give a fuck if it says Mama's House on that bitch. Tommy's. And we would play this game nonstop. I remember we would go to the fucking. I remember we went to the video store, and uh, they'd have the, all the games and fucking like we'll go and fucking. And when No Mercy was not there, we'd be pissed off, cause cause it it came into the store, and every time we go there it was always fucking out. And then one day they had it there and we fucking picked it up, and 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 I fell in love with this game ever since. You know, this is probably my favorite WWF wrestling game for the Nintendo 64. WrestleMania 2000, yeah, it was good, but no one beats WWF No Mercy. You could smoke this bitch. I know a lot of people that smoke reefers. Ain't, ain't that right? Uh, so, you could. this game is so fucking awesome. This is probably my favorite WWF wrestling game. Goes for about ten dollars on eBay. Now, once again, guys, you can, you can probably go in different stores and find it for cheaper, uh, and feel free to do that. But we're, we, you know, we're going by eBay prices yeah. uh, because we do a lot of shopping on eBay. So. Yeah. So that's my number three. Coming in at number two is another is a PlayStation Two game. Bully. I, remember, I my mom picked this up for me when I because I watched Raw. I was watching Raw. And they had the fucking commercial for this game. And I was like, I want to play that fucking game. That game looks badass. And I love this fucking game. I could still play this fucking game. And yeah, as you can see, it's all fucking torn. You know why? Because this is an old fucking game. That's why. And I played it non-fucking stop. And you know what else? I still got the fucking insert in this game. See? There's the fucking insert. Right there. Still got the insert. The manual. And I'm going to show you how bad this game fucking scratch. There you go. It's not that badly scratch. But, because I had to rebuy it, of course. But, uh, but the case was shitty. But I didn't give a fuck. Uh. So, Bully is one of my other favorite games. Another, another, Rockstar. Rockstar always has fucking great games. You know, Grand Theft Auto. And, and fucking Grand Theft Auto 3. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Rockstar always came out, the Warriors, all, Rockstar always came out with fucking great games for PlayStation 2. And, and to me, that's my favorite, and you got, and you got fucking Red Dead Redemption and all those. Rockstar, and you got L.A. Noir. Rockstar fucking knows how to fucking take care of their fucking video games. They fucking are top notch, and I love Rockstar. Uh, and, uh, uh, Bully's about what? It's, it's about, it's about a kid, you know, fuck, uh, James, or Jimmy, I think it was Jimmy, Jimmy. But, uh, but sometimes they'll call him fucking James, and fucking, uh, and his fucking parents put him in this goddamn fucking academy, and, and fucking he, he would be tormented and teased and, and everything like this, and you could go to classes on here, you could fucking, you could fucking beat up other kids? Yeah, you can go fucking bully kids, give them wedgies and shit, I did that all the goddamn time, I love this fucking game. Uh, Bully goes for uh, for the PS2. It goes for about uh, eleven dollars on eBay. So, uh, not 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 a too expensive game. Yeah, but a great game. Oh yeah, this, this is a fucking awesome game. And, and what's number, number one, one, number one, my number one game is a Nintendo 64 game, Mario Kart 64 for the Nintendo 64. This is my number one favorite game, and I'm not like I like Mario. In, but this is my favorite Mario right here. It's Mario Kart 64. I got this. You want to hear the shocker? I didn't pay forty-five dollars for this motherfucker. With the guy, unlike the a goddamn guy at KY Pond, you can take your fucking KY jelly and stick it up your ass. I didn't pay forty-five dollars for this fucking game. I got it at a fucking flea market and got it for a fucking buck. 
got a steal on it. I got a fucking steal on it. This, be, be, this, because currently on eBay that goes for about twenty four dollars. Yes, this goes for twenty four dollars, and I got it for a dollar at a flea market. That's why I love flea markets. And fucking, I love this game. I played this nonstop. You can get into arguments with motherfucker on this game. Okay. They'll get pissed off if you pass them or fucking use that fucking shell or, or fucking anything like that. Like, Classic. you get in fights over this fucking game. Uh, one of the one games that you can do with one, two, three, and yeah, four players. Yeah, you can do this with fucking four players and, and fucking play this game for fucking hours. You not, know? And, and not really get bored either. <laughs> yeah, not get fucking bored either. That's why, that's why, to me, and look, I got an N64. You think I'm going to sell that bitch? Fuck no. I still played my fucking Nintendo 64. And Mario Kart 64 is my number one favorite game. I'll never get rid of this bitch. I can still play this and still have loads of fun on this motherfucker. And, and, and that's what you can do with a lot of, a lot of your guys. Uh, yes. Yeah. I can play all these and still have fun. And Mario Kart 64 is number one. My favorite game that I won't get rid of. So, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestlingrampage2. Follow us on Twitter, at Russell Rampage. Hit that subscribe button for more great videos. And like I said, if you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess your fucking punk ass don't know wrestling.